guys, how's it going? This is Tim, bringing you guys a channel, Daily Deals with Tim, where I talk about tech, crypto, and stock deals, all for you guys. And uh, before I start, this is just my opinion and not a professional advice. So today, we are going to talk about Litecoin after the surge and what's there for Litecoin. So if you guys... Um, remember or not remember Litecoin went through a surge breaking the $50 cap so that happened pretty pretty recently around a August 23rd where um, it went from around 46 to 47 and then suddenly boom went up to 5390 I think it actually went a little more than that but this is what the graph shows us. I think it might have went up to around 55 or 56 for a brief period, but went really high, breaking 50 and almost uh, 55. And then now it's going back, trending a little down, but pretty pretty steady as it goes up and down around the $50 range. So what caused this surge? And I made a video about this a couple of days ago, and it basically... Um, there's a couple of tweets from Charlie Lee and from the Lightning Network saying that that this uh, this statement is confirmed. And what that statement is that there is going to be a, a cross-chaining between Litecoin and Bitcoin and an atomic swap, which is kind of similar things. So what that means is that uh, when you buy with, with Litecoin, you could actually pay the other person with Bitcoin and vice versa. If you buy with Bitcoin, you could pay the other person in uh, Litecoin in transactions. So you don't have to, let's say if one person B wants Litecoin, but you only have Bitcoin, you don't have to go through an exchange and change this much Bitcoin into Litecoin and then give it to the person. Instead, you could send transactions in Bitcoin and that would automatically change into Litecoin with less fees and instantaneously. And then the other person would get um, what they wanted in Litecoin, Litecoin. So this is a huge update for um, Bitcoin and Litecoin. And that is why once the news hit, it started rising up and up and up. I was kind of hoping it would go a little higher, but um, there is that uh, resistance at the top around um, 55-ish so it went down again and then it's trending up and down around the average of 51 to 52 around there and so after the surge it's been going up and down and it's right now it's at 51.84 so why is Litecoin a still a positive buy for me a good buy well uh, as I explained, the cross-chain and the atomic swap is going to happen soon. Not right now, but um, that is also enabled by this thing called Lightning Network. I mentioned this before, but Lightning Network is a technology for scalable instant Bitcoin blockchain transactions. This also uh, applies to Litecoin. So... This is uh, what they have. The transaction for the future is going to be an instant payment. Lightning fast blockchain payment without worrying about block confirmation times and security is enforced by smart contracts without creating blockchain transactions for individual payments. Also, scalability, capable of millions to billions of transactions per second across the network. So a lot of transactions could be go through this Lightning network instead of a limit. Also low cost. So Lightning Network allows for exceptionally low fees, which allows for emerging use cases as instant micropayments. And across blockchains, as I talked about, the cross-chain atomic swaps can occur off-chain instantaneously with heterogeneous blockchain consensus rules. So as long as the chain support the same cryptographic hash function, it's possible to make transactions across blockchains without a trust in third-party custodians. So four major updates through the Lightning Network. Instant payments, scalability, low cost, and cross-blockchains. 
So I kind of talked about this before, but these four is going to be a huge update for Litecoin and Bitcoin because they are compatible in um, in that um, compatibility. So they uh, soon will both have SegWit and both have Lightning Network. Once those two things hit, I, I have a good um, assumption that the prices are going to surge once again. So this price surge only happened when the news got out and people are excited about this. So they went buying and buying and buying, but now that the news has gone down, people are kind of going steady. They're kind of still hopeful, but not sure what's gonna happen. However, we have this idea in behind our heads that this is going to happen someday and I predict it's going to be pretty recent. Um, I would I will think maybe before this year ends, but it might be after this uh, after or the beginning of next year. I heard some rumors about around September 15th or 21st, somewhere around there, but I cannot confirm confirm the rumors, so I'm not sure yet. But my outlook on Litecoin is that once those things actually activate, the SegWit and Lightning Network activates for both Litecoin and Bitcoin, there's a, there's going to be a increased amount of transaction going between the two and the prices are going to um, increase for both coins. So for right now, uh, Litecoin is uh, had a surge and pretty steady, but Bitcoin is actually increasing. Today was increased at 4.76% to $440 $4,437 and there is um, advices from professional crypto experts saying that this is going to go even higher which I do not doubt at all because um, from my experience even a month ago it was Bitcoin was at like 2500 or a couple months ago and now it's at 4437 and the price at least for right now, it has no cap and it will go and go and go until the demand is meet. However, the cryptocurrencies are not even prevailing globally. There are small sectors of the world that knows about cryptocurrencies and is buying into it. But as more people know, as more people join, as more people buy cryptocurrencies, price will surge because there is so much demand and I believe that will be what happened for Bitcoin and as well as for Litecoin as well. I have some hope for Ethereum too, but that's for next time. But um, and also looking at Litecoin and it's circulating supply versus the max supply. So this is how much supply is there right now in the market? 52 million and this is a max supply it can hit 84 million Litecoins. So what this means is that there is around a 32 million um, Litecoin still to be mined and distributed. So um, it still has a long way to go because Bitcoin is at around the 16.5 million supply, circulating supply to max supply of 21 million. So they are going to, they're kind of closing out the differences. But for Litecoin, it still has a lot of supplies to go through. And that is one of the reasons that I think Litecoin is not at a ridiculously high price right now because there is a lot of supply left and people are still getting into it and still figuring out. And is it is not as marketed as well as Bitcoin. However, I feel like right now is a very good time to buy because it hasn't went through the crazy surge yet. So if you can see, Bitcoin is at really high price right now. And that, that might not even be the highest. It could even go further and further and further. And who knows? However, for Litecoin, it's a gradual, gradual increase, gradual increase one after another. And um, it has been through some changes, but not as much. And I believe that this is a good time to buy. And if you guys invest um, what you can spare right now, I think it will be a good return in the end. But another advice for you guys, please do your own research before buying into cryptos and other things because uh, I, 
I can give you guys these advices, but it is your own decision to buy or hold or sell. And um, only buy what you can spare. So please do not go into your savings and sell your houses. And please don't do that because cryptocurrency is still uh, volatile and there is it is a decentralized currency. So if a centralized figure like the US government or China government is comes to mess around, it, things can get messy. So only invest what you can spare. That would be my advice to you guys so that um, you guys don't go off spending your savings or emergency funds. But that is only my advice. And you guys should do your own research, make your own decisions. So if you guys like these contents, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys can tell me what you guys want to hear or what you guys want to see for the next video, uh, I would appreciate it a lot. So until next time, see you guys.